Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, installment of Erin's Book Club. I know I did a book haul on Friday but uh, Chris and I had some running around to do trying to find drapes for our new place and that kind of thing and I got introduced to the thrift store and the thrift store has books. Not only does the thrift store have books, it has books that are cheap and I found two wonderful books at the thrift store that I need to share with you and then I went to Greenhawk which is our local tack store and I got a deal there on books too, so I have to do another book haul. Oh dear. Uh, the first book that I found, I saw this and I kind of jumped on it. Um, totally wasn't expecting to find this at a thrift store. But this one is called Plague. How Smallpox Devastated Montreal by Michael Bliss. I don't really know. Oh, with a new preface by Michael Bliss. Bliss. I don't know actually who wrote it. Um, huh. But apparently it's, it was a, a national bestseller. But I'm, I'm really fascinated about history. Um, I'd love to have a, um, a book on like the actual plague, the bubonic plague. But this is smallpox, which was kind of not given as much due as I think that it should. Um, because it was a devastating plague. Um, so this is really cool because it's got picture or not, it's got an insert of some of the medieval pictures and somebody has been in this book before me highlighting interesting little bits, which I think is really cool. Um, shows that somebody previously loved this book. Yeah, see there's a lot of highlights there. Um, so this one looks like a really interesting read. It's something I'm super fascinated. This, like this kind of stuff, smallpox, Spanish flu, bubonic plague. Um, the more recent one, Ebola, all that stuff I want to learn about, very interested about. Um, so that's what I got at the thrift store, and I think it was like 50 cents for that book. Like, that's amazing! And then I went to the children's section of the thrift store, because, you know, you can't go to a bookstore without seeing all of the sections. I know I'm not a child, sometimes I feel like one, but... So I looked through at the children's section, and I found a classic! A classic I haven't had before. This is Little Women. Um, and this is the abridged version. And before I used to be like, oh no, abridged versions aren't real classics because they've taken all the good stuff out, or, you know, that kind of thing. But after reading Moby Dick that wasn't abridged, I'm all for abridged. Abridged copies are great. And yes, this is probably a, a, ch a children's version because the writing's very big and um, there's, you know, lots of pictures and that kind of thing, which is all well and good. Um, but it's a classic that I don't have and that I think I'm going to treasure um, because I want to include a lot in my classics book uh, collection. So these are the two that I got from the thrift store. And then I went to Greenhawk and they have these little packets of used books. And this whole packet, so this is four books, 15 bucks, four books, 15 bucks. So very excited about this. So let's get into this and see what all I got. It's the last book in this package that I bought the package for. Apparently I can't get into the package. There we go. And then like this first one in the in the pile kind of piqued my interest. Not only because it's, it's a neat topic, but it's Horse Sense, How to Develop Your Horse's Intelligence by Henry Blake, author of Talking with Horses. And I got, to, I have Talking with Horses, so this will be two books that I have by this fellow. So that's kind of exciting. Um, this is an older book, and I'm all for older books. So it like it's so old that the pages are yellowed, which makes me feel great. At one point in time, somebody paid $18.50 for it, which is kind of cool. So I can't wait to get through that one. Yeah, the copyright is 1979. So it's a year older. Two years older than my grooming one. Got that one. And then this one was kind of hidden, so I had a hard time finding this one. But Horses, Hitches, and Rocky Trails, The Packer's Bible by Joe Black. Huh. Oh, wow, this is kind of cool. It's got the name Jennifer on it. So somebody loved this book. Um, but yeah, it's got kind of a neat front picture. And it, it's, I think it's for Packers. Copyright 1959. Oh, wow, that's really cool. That's really cool. That's a nice old book. Um, yeah. That's kind of cool. Really excited about that one. 
And then this one, Horses of the Camaray. I can't say that to save my life, but you know the little white ponies in the swamps. Um, this one, that used to have a book plate it looks like, but that's been ripped out. This one, I'm not really seeing a co copyright. 1975. We're going good with old books here. Um, wow, this even seems to have brands in it. It looks like a illustrated. Oh yeah, look at it. It's the got. It's the, like a photographic guide with like an uh, introduction with words. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, I might read that right away because the introduction's got like the explanations and that kind of thing. And then it looks like the back. Like look at some of these pictures. They're gorgeous. So that's exciting. That's a good buy. Now this is the book that I saw that I wanted when I saw it. Um, the book cover seems a little beat up, but this is this is the White Stallions of Venna. Now these are the Lipizzaners. Now there's a lot of history with the Lipizzaners. We almost lost them through the war. Oops, somebody almost paid 20 bucks for it. I got all four of them for, for um, 15. This book is kind of beat up. It's going to need a little bit of love, I think. That jacket's cover is pretty bad. So, this seems to be... Somebody actually pasted a picture, or like a photograph, on the front page. But it looks so old now that the poor photograph is coming off. So, I love, I love the history. Let's just take it out of the jacket to protect. Have a better look, and I'm not ripping the jacket anymore. Yeah. I love old books. I really do. Um, so yeah, this one, copyrighted 1963, got beautiful pictures and explanations and just, see, like it, it just, it's cool history and it's something that I'm very excited about and I'm going to really thoroughly enjoy reading through this, um, through all of it, actually, this is very cool. Oh, good. So that is my secondary book haul, um, two book hauls in a row. I'm very stoked. I can't wait to start these. Now the hardest part is going to be trying to decide which book to start with first, but here we go. Thanks so much, guys, for letting me ramble on. Have a great day.